Kathleen N. I. Houlihan stands as a one-act play collaboratively authored by Irish poet and dramatist William Butler Yeats and Irish dramatist and theatre manager Lady Gregory. It was penned, premiered, and published in 1902. The narrative revolves around the historical context of the 1798 rebellion against British dominion in Ireland, weaving a nationalistic fabric centered on the eponymous heroine. Kathleen N. I. Houlihan symbolizes an idealized representation of Irish sovereignty. She materializes as an elderly woman who arrives at the home of a family commemorating their son's impending nuptials. In her visit, she impels the young man to forsake his domestic ties and champion the cause of Ireland's independence. Exploring themes of sacrifice, cultural pride, Irish folklore, and the nation as a maternal figure, Kathleen N. I. Houlihan found a place within Yeats' compilation of plays entitled Nine One-Act Plays. Despite being closely tied to its era and milieu, the play has attained the status of an Irish literary classic, even though its performance frequency has waned over time. The story setting unfolds within the Gill Lane family's cottage situated in County Mayo, near Kalala Bay. Michael, a son of the Gill Lane household, readies himself for marriage to Delia Cahale the following day. He arrives bearing Delia's dowry, concealed within a bag. Although his parents, Peter and Bridget, welcome his return with joy, their attention is drawn to an enigmatic elderly woman lurking nearby. The mysterious figure is greeted warmly and invited inside, yet not without the precaution of concealing the dowry bag containing valuable possessions. Initially wary, Michael remains near the entrance as the old woman enters. In stark contrast to the Gill Lane family's humble demeanor, the stranger speaks with an elevated tone, almost as if channeling a higher force. She recounts her woeful tale, describing her eviction from her own dwelling and the extensive journey she has undertaken. Having strayed from her homeland, the woman expresses her sorrow over the intrusion of strangers into her abode and the encroachment upon her land. Peter and Bridget engage in speculation about her identity. The woman proceeds to sing a Gaelic folk song, captivating Michael's attention. She recounts tales of a youth who adored her and sacrificed his life for her, captivating Michael while leaving Peter unmoved. Her narrative transitions to stories of numerous young men who have embarked on battles for her cause, many of whom failed to return. Peter and Bridget attempt to divert her with refreshments and offer her money, yet her true desire becomes evident. What she truly seeks is the surrender of an individual's entire being to her cause. As she prepares to leave, Michael announces his intention to accompany her, forsaking his imminent marriage plans. Revealing her true identity as Kathleen N. I. Houlihan, the legendary symbol of Irish independence, the elderly woman exits the stage. Despite her departure, her melodious voice lingers, triggering discussions among the remaining characters. Michael appears entranced, as though Kathleen's spirit has taken hold of him. Bridget endeavors to break his trance, but a group of neighbors, including Delia and Michael's brother Patrick, arrives. Patrick informs them that the neighbors are preparing to join the French forces in the struggle against British rule, aspiring to secure Irish independence. Delia pleads with Michael to abstain from this course, but Michael remains under Kathleen and I. Houlihan's spell. He rushes outdoors, urging the village men to join him in the enlistment march. The neighbors, fueled by a newfound determination, surge from their homes, collectively joining the cause of enlistment. The family's hearts ache as they observe their sons departing for war. Inquisitive, Peter questions Patrick if he encountered an elderly woman on his way home, but Patrick denies any such encounter. However, he did come across a young woman who exuded a regal air, likening her gait to that of a queen. This revelation underscores that Kathleen N. I. Houlihan embodies various manifestations, now fully embracing her potency and grandeur. William Butler Yeats, also acknowledged as W.B. Yeats, was a prominent Irish poet, dramatist, and fervent proponent of Irish autonomy. His contributions were pivotal to the Irish literary revival, and he was honored with the 1923 Nobel Prize in Literature. A co-founder of Dublin's Abbey Theatre, Yeats holds a preeminent place within 20th century Irish literature. Isabella Augusta, or Lady Gregory, held stature as an Irish dramatist, folklorist, and theatre impresario. Co-founding the Irish Literary Theatre and the Abbey Theatre alongside William Butler Yeats and Edward Martin, she garnered recognition for contemporarily reimagining traditional Irish folk narratives.
Notably, Lady Gregory staunchly championed Irish independence, making her one of the aristocracy's most resolute advocates for this cause. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.